Hey guys, I'm Nick. I'm losing a bunch of daylight and the neighbor's new puppy won't quit barking. I showed you yesterday at the end of the video that I had this Sportsman 136 in my garage. I did put it in the water today. I spent some time in it. I killed the battery, which was really my goal. See how long it would last. Destroyed it. All right, so, but I wanted to take this time and I could do a walkthrough and could talk to you about this kayak and I will later in the week, but Today, I wanted to talk to you about what is it? Is it a kayak? Is it a boat? Is it a mediocre skiff? Is it a paddleboard? What is it, right? What is it? Obviously, it's not a paddleboard. It'll be the heaviest paddleboard in the history of paddleboards. Is it a solo skiff? It's registered. Is it a boat? Easier to launch off a trailer than it is to launch out of the back of a truck. Is it a kayak? So, what is kayak fishing to you? To me, kayak fishing started off as a way to reach water that I couldn't reach wade fishing. Whether it was I couldn't wade that far and I could paddle the kayak and get there quicker and then beach the kayak and then wade fish, that's how it started for me. And then paddle, and then kayaks evolved to rod holders and they got wider and more stable and faster and you could add pedals eventually. And they've evolved into this crazy situation where you see this is still called a kayak when really in my opinion, it's a mediocre skiff, underpowered mediocre skiff, if you want to talk about it for real. So kayak fishing was the ability to take a piece of plastic that you could store in your garage with minimal to no maintenance, throw it in the back of a pickup truck, drive to the water, and get the fish quickly and easy in remote locations where big boats may not be able to get to because one, they can't launch on the side of the road, two, maybe it's too shallow, uh, three, the fish are finicky and spooky easy, so you want to be quiet and stealthy, and so on. But now, kayak fishing has developed into this situation we see now where it's no longer economical. Like, kayak fishing used to be economical. It was cheap. It was looked down on by guys who had boats because you were just a, you're just a little dirt bag out there and a piece of plastic. But now, they want 4K for this piece of plastic and that trolling motor over there. They want 4K for it. That's before taxes, before registrations, before shipping, before you even had a battery. And it's no longer light. That motor and this piece of plastic without a battery weighs 154 pounds. If you add a $700 battery, which brings you to a total of $4,700, that's without taxes or fees or anything like that, $4,700, you add a 28-pound battery, which is a 100 amp hour amped outdoors battery, that brings this thing to roughly 180 pounds. That's 60 pounds greater than a predator PDL. That's a lot of weight. So the predator is hard to move as it is because it's heavy and big and bulky. But now you want to add 60 pounds to it? That sounds crazy. So this morning when I launched it, I had to make four trips. Kayak, motor, battery, fishing poles. I won't include the fifth uh, trip because that was uh, camera equipment, book bag, drone, whatever. I didn't even use any of it, but I brought it just in case, right? So when is it no longer kayak fishing? When are you at a point of, this thing is a boat. It's a boat. I don't care how you want to look at it. I I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about it, which I normally don't watch any YouTube videos about fishing because most of them is just BS trying to tell you to buy something 95% of the time. Like every other industry, it doesn't matter if it's cameras, audio equipment, cars, everyone's trying to sell it to you. That's how they make money. And every video I watched talked about how great this thing was. And, but what I realized was everyone telling you how great it was, no one bought it. No one paid for it themselves. No one purchased it to use it. They received it free. They're on fishing teams. They were, you know, gave it, they have these special links that say like bit.ly. Click my link, click my link. Those guys are doing that because that's how they show old town that they were worth the money they got, right? So they paid them money or they gave them a free kayak in return for their influence. And those links are what drove that ability. So is any of the information you're getting accurate or are they all just hype men? They're hype men. So what is it to you? What is, what is kayak fishing to you? Tell me in the comments, what's kayak fishing? What is this? Is this a kayak? Is it a boat? Is it a skiff? Uh, what is it? I mean, is it an airplane? That's no, not an airplane. All right, so, so what is it, okay? So to me, this thing is a mediocre skiff. That, that's, that's my initial impressions of it. It had a top speed of four and a half miles per hour with a 10 mile per hour tailwind and an outgoing tide. I hit four and a half miles per hour on a downhill. I was riding a wave. Uh, I averaged four miles per hour. Mm. 
I could go on a lot of details about this stuff, but I'm going to save it for a later video. Let's just stick to what is this thing to you? Boat, skiff, kayak. And tell me why you started kayak fishing in the comments. Thanks for watching.